in this video I'll cover multiple ways that you can charge your MacBook Air M2 like this one. So let's start with the first one which is the easiest one. Every MacBook Air comes with this sort of a cable which is a MagSafe cable and it also comes with a power brick or power adapter just like this one. This is a 30 watts but we'll see that you can use actually more powerful power adapters to charge it even faster. So to connect both of these it's very easy. Once you remove the packaging around the cable all you have to do is to plug this end of the cable the USB type C to the USB type C port on the power adapter. I'm just gonna connect them like this. You're gonna then connect this power adapter over here to a wall socket in your home. And finally, once it's connected to the wall, and all you have to do now is to take this end and on the side here, let me show you, on the left side of the MacBook Air M2 here, you have two USB type C ports and you also have this port that is a MagSafe port. All you have to do is to, uh, you don't even need to push it. You just need to come close to it and it will snap by itself. Since it's magnetic, you just have to bring it closer and click, it will connect. To know that it's charging, there's a small LED light here. Right now it's red because uh, the laptop is not fully charged, so it means that it's actually charging the MacBook. So this is the easiest way it can be done. Another solution to charge your MacBook Air is to use one of these USB type C ports on it. So instead of the MagSafe cable, you'll need one of these and maybe you have one laying around. If not, by the way, I'll put a link in the description if you want to get everything I show in this video on Amazon, it will be right there. You'll need a USB type C to USB type C cable. This is one cable, it's made by Apple. And you're gonna take the same charger here that comes in the box of your a MacBook Air M2, you're gonna connect one end, you're gonna connect it to a wall socket and this end, the other USB type C and you're gonna connect on either of these two ports. It doesn't matter which one you choose. So I'll go ahead and connect it in this one. Here we go. And it's charging. Obviously now you won't have any LED light here telling you if it's charging or not. You're gonna, you will need to check on your MacBook, on the battery, right over here in the corner, and you're gonna see the icon that it's actually charging. Now here's other ways that you can charge your MacBook Air. So a much slower way to charge it, but again, maybe in last resort, uh, like let's say you're traveling and you forgot your charger, you can use any USB type A power adapter like this one. I don't know if you remember this one came with older iPhones and well you can use any of them. You can use a Samsung one that has a USB type A port here and a uh, power outlet and this port over here to connect it to a power outlet. Although they're very slow you know this one is a 5 watts. They will still work with your MacBook Air M2 or even M1. All you need is to have one of these cable that is USB type A that connects right into it and USB type C here, okay? Most Android phones come with one, by the way. And you just need the same way, connect this to a power outlet, this to your MacBook Air and it will work. It will take ages to charge. Depending how much charge you have left into your MacBook, it may take more than a day actually because it's very slow, but has a last resort option. I think it's quite cool that you can still use these older charger to do to charge your MacBook Air. Uh, there's actually ways to charge it much faster than original way to charge it that is included in the box. So in the box, there is this adapter here that is that we just saw previously. This is a 30 watts adapter made by Apple that works well but the MacBook Air M2 accepts to up to 67 watts of power to charge it. So you can use the Apple 67 watts charger that is obviously larger than this one 
to charge your MacBook Air much faster. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get one of these charger, but I guess if you're on a tight schedule and you know that you're gonna use the battery and you want to charge it fast and to have the optimal charging time, well, this adapter will help you uh, achieve this because it's much faster than the 30 watts. It's more than double. And there's another option here. I'll show it on the screen again. It's the Apple that has a dual USB type C charger. It's the 30 35 watts dual power adapter. And what this will do is that you'll be able to charge your MacBook Air but at the same time, since it has two ports, you'll be able to charge your iPhone or any other devices at the same time. So this, again, it's another option. It will charge slightly slower than the original 30 watts charger since the power will be divided, but it's still a nice alternative. So this is it. This is how you can charge your MacBook Air. There's many options. I love this. So, you know, if in case you lose this power adapter, there's always uh, another charger probably that you have at home that can work to charge your computer. And this is it. I hope this was useful. Please leave a comment down below, maybe a like as well, and I'll see you in the next one.